The World Cup continues. You're ready for it. I'm ready for it. The mic's in position. Let's go. Folks, welcome back to Glory Hunter with me, Dr. Ben GFM. As the big news really is that uh, Belgium, who won 12 1, are out. That's right, after beating Caraco, uh, they've lost to Colombia in Italy and are now dumped out of the World Cup in the second round. Our second round match then starts in just a moment, really. But the big news Mali have knocked out Croatia, Portugal have gone through, Colombia through, Italy through, Argentina through, Denmark, France, the USA have progressed as well. The Ivory Coast have beaten Brazil 6 4. Guess who's popped up? That's right, Nicolas Pepe. They didn't play Vinicius Jr., so they've really got themselves to blame, really. And uh, yeah, so Brazil are out. Japan, Mexico, Uruguay, Switzerland, Ghana, Holland, and ourselves versus Paraguay. I realise we've got one of the tougher games now. I've also noticed there, by the way, Nigeria have knocked out Spain. So. Some of the big teams already early going out. Belgium, Brazil, Spain. We've, we've got every chance here. We've got to beat Paraguay though. And we'll do that then right now, shall we? With the early kickoff on this Friday. Four matches happening today and we're the first of them. And team-wise, disappointment really. Gavin Osborne, who was going to be a key part of this World Cup campaign, has got a little injury. Four to seven days with a gashed upper leg, in my opinion. Put a bandage on it. Play on, my friend. But no, he's not doing it. He's not playing for us. Um... Fair enough. I mean, we're going to have to go on without, though. But it does mean that the experiment of Trent Alexander-Arnold in the box-to-box -box midfield role does continue. Max Aaron's at right back, Chilwell at left back, Stones, Tomori, Dewhurst in goal as well. I'm, I'm sticking with him. I, Pickford, you know, you've, you've been all right, but Marcus Dewhurst gets the nod. Sterling Foden and Hansel Adoy behind Harry Kane. As we go for a slightly more offensive style uh, for today's game. The bench, though, rich of talent as well. We've got James Madison there to bring on, Marcus Rashford, Jane Sancho, Mason Mount if required, and Bill McChrystal that we're all enjoying. Uh, so let's see then. Can we go one step further and progress through this? The video length will not give you anything away because I'll add time on if I have to. So, yeah, added time. That's right. Come on. Let's secure a World Cup, please, for heaven's sake. All right, then. Let's go. Let's see if we can we can do the business. A, a, a maximum of two matches. So, we'll see if, how far we can get today. And, of course, there'll be another video tomorrow. We're doing weekends, people. I will continue the good fight. And in terms of their side, their best player is Almiron, or one of the best players is Almiron. And he's not even playing. So... I've got a bit of confidence there. They might have got some sort of genius wonder kids. I should probably investigate this further quickly. I don't want to get sprung upon. I don't I don't want a surprise, frankly. Right, some of their players in their squad aren't even... Right, they're not even proper players. Oh, okay. Robert Rojas, Bob Bob Haas. Um, yeah, he's he's their best player. We better pick him win. My only worry is we played as sort of a lesser side in, in the USA. Obviously, they've got players like Pulisic and a few others that are notable, but... We didn't beat them in the friendly pre-game, uh, pre-tournament, sorry. So I'm a little nervous, but here we go. Let's get some... D England. I mean, we're all involved. Of course, if you're not from England, this adventure, you probably don't want to see us win. I'm talking to the Scottish and Welsh and Irish among you as the ball goes in, and probably other countries as well, to be honest. We're not, we, we become more unlikable as tournaments go on. As uh, Stones over to Phil Foden. We're just having fun, viewers. Foden ball in. It's towards Harry Kane. But it looks like Paraguay will just about get this away. Of course, after the demolition recently of Saudi Arabia, we're hoping uh, to continue that good form, really. We've gone back to full strength. Fitness-wise, we're in pretty good shape as well. And Max Ahrens is back in the side. And I think we all enjoyed his performance yesterday. Absolutely sensational, uh, wasn't he, against Ghana. As uh, a little bit of possession from us here. It's Hudson Adoy. Uh, of course, if we go through in this round, I think we play one of Mexico or Japan, who also played today, as Raheem Sterling has scored gold of the tournament, viewers. Raheem! Raheem! He scored against Paraguay. He's that kind of guy. Raheem. Raheem. Oh, just stop it, Ben. No one's enjoying it. If you were enjoying it, I'll do it again tomorrow. Sterling, look at that. That is... That's how good it was. It was it was gobbled into the back of the net. Lovely. Free kick now as well. Trent Alexander-Arnold with another chance to impress viewers. Would he score from there? Surely he will. Trent goes for it. He's hit the post. That's a, that's a real shame. Tomorrow's shot is also blocked. I just want to get through these early rounds just as comfortable as you like. Just coat, just like as if we're being massaged our way through it, viewers. That's what I'd like to see. As uh, Harry Kane somehow slows the ball. Finds Phil Foden. Raheem back to Declan Rice. Probably could have shot there, Raheem. But you've decided to play it safe and it's, it remains at 1-0. They've got an injury as well, which is not good. As uh, there's a player there who's just been booked and we've got another free kick. He'll be suspended for the next game and it's going to be Phil Foden this time from the other side. Left-footed. Can he score? He's hit the post. We're just, we're not respecting the equipment whatsoever, viewers. Throw back to a previous t-shirt. Have you got one? I've got three of them. That's, even my dad's got one. That's how much, I made sure the whole family got one. Corner. Phil Foden on this one as well. Whips in towards the near post. Sterling can't get there. Tomori is going to recycle it. Back out to Phil Foden as, uh, well, he's tried to beat his man. He's still got the ball. He plays it in towards Harry Kane, whose shot hits the side netting. Harold. I've got to save you. It's early stage. Well, I say early stage. It's nearly at half time. 
It's looking good. 70% possession. They're yet to register a shot on target. We lead 1-0 after that. Raheem Sterling, Thunderbolt. All right, you've played well so far. Still room for improvement. I think we're playing well, but come on, we need, we need to really press forward this. I'm disappointed with the quality of finishing. and They're all fired up by that. Come on. It's a free kick again. Trent, 45 yards out. Flicks one in. Flicked in towards the goal. It's John Stones who pops it in. And I've not got a song prepared. It's John Stones. He's got really strong bones. <laughs> He's got really strong bones. John Stones. I oh, I shouldn't... Mm. If I could get the England band to perform, that would be good, wouldn't it, in one of the videos. I feel like every player now needs some sort of rhyme, no matter what happens. Um, I'll, I'll work on it throughout the rest of the tournament, really. That'll keep you watching. 65 minutes gone. I'm going to make a change, actually. I think Tammy Abraham to come on for Harry Kane, who's had... A Harry Kane-like performance, frankly. And uh, I'm going to bring Marcus Rashford on for hudson Adoy as well on that left-hand side. Inside forward attack. Let's get him more involved. A third goal here. And we can start to relax a little, I think, as uh, Declan Rice finds Phil Foden. Foden? What rhymes with Foden? Just in case. Foden. I don't know. hudson Adoy. He's, he's a boy. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ball over to, to Max Ahrens, who's gone for goal. And uh, Paraguay save again. It'd be quite the comeback from them with, you know, 25 minutes to go. I, I don't want to see it. We've not seen Max Ahrens maraud forward like we did in previous games, but Sterling goes forward again. Phil Foden now finds hudson Adoy. Oh, hudson Adoy, doy, doy. He is a boy, boy, boy. Genetically, lee, lee. I that's it. That's as good as it gets, viewers. Raheem does the business once again. Gets tackled. Phil Foden, though. Look at that pass from Phil Foden. Absolutely sensational. And a good finish from Callum hudson Adoy. His initials are Cho Cho. So there you go, go, go. It's Callum hudson Adoy, And he's genetically a boy. God, I'm just trying to think of stuff for the album. I mentioned it the other day. I'm just trying to get, I'm, I'm trying to do an England special. As Max Aaron's, well, he should have scored. We've got another free kick. I am going to take advantage of the final substitution that we've got, though. Phil Foden is his last chance of the game to impress. And he hits the crossbar. He's going to come off. James Madison, who's had a really good season, deserves a little bit of game time. He's going to come on in behind Tammy Abraham. Paraguay have got a lot of bookings in a very centralised area for the players that have got those bookings. All right, Sergio Diaz uh, is on the pitch and he's, well, that's that's unpleasant. Um, he's scored. I'm not going to do songs for opposition players, viewers, because that's that could be a Because I don't want to be 3-0 down in the final and then having to produce songs about Italian players. Like, I don't want that. Hmm. That was quite impressive. I've, I've, I've watched that again there and he's curled it in. It would be a bottle job if we don't go through from here. But I think I think we'll be okay. All right then. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Another one bites the... 3-1 <laughs> one, viewers. Well done lads. Good win. Happy with that. Lovely stuff. And on to the next one then. Uh, has that been confirmed yet or is it yet to be played? I think it's yet to be played. Also I've made a bid for a CSK Moscow player. Um, this is not an Arsenal episode. So you'll find out about this. Later on, he's a little Russian wonder. You, you, you make make my word for it. Make my word for it. Take my word for it. Uh, Mexico, then. That's who will face Mexico. I look forward to it. They've got uh, Lozano, of course. <clears throat> Former player of mine. So, I hope he has a quiet game. He's not injured. He's absolutely fine. They've actually got quite a few players that are... They've got they've got actual quality, which is worrying. They've got Lozano, Robles is there as well. He's a regen centre-back. Looks very good. I should buy him. He's at Liverpool. Forget it. They've actually got some good players, which... Not preferred. It was close with uh, with Japan, though, as, uh, yeah, they're knocked out. Elsewhere, Uruguay get a late goal and Holland knock out our group uh, friends, Ghana, as uh, Frankie de Jong and Hataran gets a goal. Nice to see it. Man, Man United a bid for Mbappe. I might just have to lose, lose for Barcelona at this point because it's not even fair, is it? And in other World Cup news then, Diego got the winning goal, the vital goal against the USA in the third round as France also go through knocking out Denmark. So it's hotting up here, viewers. If, they, if Argentina and France meet, that's good news. They don't. It'll be uh, Argentina versus either Colombia or Portugal. France will play Italy or Mali. Uh, South Korea or Bosnia and Herzegovina will play against Uruguay or Holland. And Nigeria or the Ivory Coast will play. It could be Pepe. If we win this, we get Pepe tomorrow. Oh, my word. If he goes through, obviously, we've got to assume that. Um, I'm bidding for Sevilla's goalkeeper. They don't want me to have him. I'll keep trying. Portugal and Italy both go through then. So there's some big ties emerging now in the World Cup. And I'm at that point as an England fan. Where I'm starting to believe viewers. So this is usually where it all goes wrong. We're not even, we're not even close to the quarterfinals yet. I mean, I'm not, I'm not even there. So it, oh, it takes so long. I'm sorting out code of conduct and pre-season meetings for a squad that half of them aren't even here. I've told them we can win the league. They they better be okay with that because otherwise I'm off to Barca. I've realised what Barcelona are doing. Barcelona are waiting for all the international managers to be sacked and then just have their pick of the bunch. It's quite smart, really. We're not going to face Pepe. 
Ivory Coast are out. Nigeria, 4-1. So this is a chance then to face off against Nigeria. I mean, give it up for Nigeria. They've knocked out Serbia and Venezuela. Spain have now been dispatched and Ivory Coast. It's impressive. This World Cup is joyous. I'm having a lot. This is a lovely time, viewers. I'm glad that's a, uh, Look, let's just all be happy there's an international tournament happening this year. We've got to be happy about that. I'm treasuring this at this point, viewers. I'm making, I'm making the most of it. I do have to play the Euro soon. I guess if we win the World Cup, I'll stay. If not, I'll... I'll go to one of the sacked teams afterwards. Right then, gang, Mexico. And with the inability in international management to rest players, I, I don't know. I don't I have no idea why you can't. I don't know why. Uh, the team has changed, not dramatically, but enough uh, to be different. As well, Unbelievably, and I'm not happy with myself, Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to be playing at right back view. It's something I don't, I don't want, I, I'm not happy about, but it's happening now. Uh, Reese James is having to fill in at left back. Oh, actually, is it better to switch these boys around? Maybe. We'll give that a whirl instead. Then Max Aaron's at left back. That's actually a better choice, unbelievably. I was trying to I was trying to rest him, but Reese James and Max Aaron, sure. John Stones, uh, Joe Gomez and Max Aaron's then complete that bat line. Uh, Rice and Mount, and I know they're good friends, so I'm, I'm using that to my advantage. Sterling one side, Hudson Odoi the other, with Madison in behind. Harry Kane, who we need to see a few more goals from, please, Harry. And again, players on the bench, ready to be brought on at any point. We'll definitely at some point see some more of Jaden Sancho. Absolutely. But Raheem Sterling, he was a goal scorer last game. And I've, that's that's been noted. I'm starting to be nervous now because we don't have that many chances at World Cups and things like this. So we've got to make the most of those opportunities. Sanchez is playing a right back for them. I signed him when I was at Dortmund. I remember it well. I've got to be, I've got to be honest. This is a team I think we should be beating. Chavez up front. He's quick. He's dangerous. But we can, we can stop him. And Lozano at right wing. That's the one I'm most concerned about because i let him leave and usually when i let players do that they come back and hurt me emotionally physically all those all the all the hurt all right then will any players be getting a song after them let's find out as uh, early stages here we've got a nice bit of possession as you play against mexico we are really living out the mike bassett dream here viewers a reference that i'm hoping a few of you will at least get as uh, reese james though forward on this right side in towards harry kane james madison what rhymes with that in case that comes up? Right, 37 minutes gone, viewers. It's been a very, very quiet game with a few of our boys looking tighter and tighter as it's gone on. Declan Rice is a major concern at this point, viewers. I'm going to say unlucky boys, things haven't gone right for us, but then I'm going to try and motivate and say, look, you can do more here, everyone. Everyone can do more. I've, di I've disappointed, but I've fired them up, viewers. That's what I've done. I've fired them up. I'm thinking Trent Alexander-Arnold in for Declan Rice early in the game as well. This is this is a bold, bold decision. He's got all the attributes to play that role, though. And I'm going to make, I might do something very bold here. Marcus Rash is coming on for Harry Kane. I want a little bit more dynamism going forward. I'm going to save one substitution, whether that be someone like Tammy, whether that be Phil Foden or Jaden Sancho. We need a goal here, and, and Harry Kane is not cutting the mustard, viewers. All right, first highlight of the half, really, as uh, Jewhurst goes all the way out to Reese James. Now, we've got to try and make something happen here. We've got to get a goal and give ourselves an advantage. I don't want to be chasing these games in the World Cup, right? You don't have long to, to react and fight back. And we've seen me in, in moments of trying to react and fight back. It doesn't work, viewers. They're not good. It's not a good moment. As Trent Alexander-Arnold in that deep blind playmaker role is having a ball. hudson Adoy, can he get a ball into the centre? He finds Mason. No, he doesn't. Trent's going to pick that up, is he? He's going to take his sweet time to do so. And Chavez has turned us. And oh, he's racing forward. Goodness me, what a goal that would have been. Thank goodness for that. Flipping heck. We've been on balance this whole time. I'm going to go slightly more positive. I'm going to be bold here, viewers. And I'm going to tell these boys to get creative. Forget we're England. Come on. hudson Adoy, quiet game. Jaden, come on, mate. Jaden Sancho, again, inside forward attack. It's, it's what we know. Come on. Try it out, boys. Come on. Need a goal. 20 minutes to go, viewers. And our World Cup hangs in the balance. They've got, they've got, a, they've got a chance. They've got. I'm going to demand more from our boys, which I, I'm not sure there's much more to give you. So they're, they're knackered. The Premier League's a very tough season to contend with. All the way out to Lozano, who keeps it in. Max Aaron's though does brilliantly. Finds Jaden Sancho, and is this the chance for us now to counter attack, to break away? Jaden Sancho, he's fresh into the tournament. Really, he's not played all that much. He's tackled. Madison picks up the loose ball. Back out to Max Aaron's on an unfamiliar left hand side. Ball played in. Headed clear. Mason Mount. Raheem Sterling. Marcus Rashford. Raheem Sterling with a chance for England. Oh, Raheem Sterling. Raheem. He. Is a dream. <laughs> Raheem. He likes hashtag scenes. Raheem. <laughs> it's two. It's one nil. I got very overexcited. I almost added another goal. Raheem goes in. We lead in the World Cup. Not even the quarterfinals, viewers. Not even there yet. <sighs> Could be here for days. Could be here for weeks and days. I mean, tournaments do last for weeks and days. There's a highlight immediately after our goal 
Are we gonna are we gonna double the advantage? Maybe it was gonna be two viewers. Maybe I was right all along as Sancho beats his man. Can he get a ball across? He finds James Madison, goes back to Trent Alexander Arnold, whose deep line playmaking efforts have been sensational viewers. Max Aaron's now on the left hand side, cuts in on that favoured right foot, finds Trent, the two right backs combining. We've got three of them out there on the pitch today, and Joe Gomez can feature there as he's cocked up the central defensive duties. Big time. Forward on the left hand side. We need Dewhurst to go massive from there as John Stones decides I'm, I'm gonna take him out. It's the best choice. He's an idiot. But it's the best choice. It's going to be VAR interfering. Let's hope it was a dive, viewers. I'm not confident. John Stones, he's, well, he's given away a, he's given away a penalty late in the game. Hopefully he's not sent off for that. He should almost certainly be booked because it was last man's stuff. The referee now is going to go and deal with John. This is a big moment in our World Cup, viewers. Um, he's given him a yellow card. Can Marcus Dewhurst be the hero? Lozano steps up. Bollocks, viewers, is the word I'm going to use. Bollocks. It's 1-1, one, one, viewers. As uh, my commentary there, I feel like it was off the charts, frankly. And now it's 1-1 it's one, one and I'm panicked. We've made all three substitutions. I'm going to go to a slightly more balanced approach again. I don't want us to overexert what what <laughs> fragile advantage we may have in terms of quality. I'm going to get James off of uh, the attacking duties. Fullback support. Same thing's going to come in as well for Max Aaron's on the left-hand side. As I'm... I'm on edge. I'm a nervous wreck, viewers. It's not an overly defensive midfield, this, is it? As we're going to have to just... I'm switching things around ever so slightly. Mazala support for Mount. As him and Madison are actually going to change places. That's the move we're going to make. And what a move it might end up being, viewers. Four minutes to go. Extra time is... Well, we're done for if it goes stretch of time. It's extra time, viewers. Fantastic. 64% possession. Surely the plucky Mexicans are feeling tired now. It's a reference from the uh, from the from the film that Mike Bassett, the manager. I'm pretty sure they lost to Mexico. So um, right, that's gone well. Let's get out there and do it again. Team wise, here we're not putting in the sort of shift I would expect from these boys. But Jaden Sancho with a chance to change it all. He's hit the crossbar. He's hit the crossbar. I've just realised penalties are a possibility. Oh no 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 no. We're still trying to attack though. Trent Alexander Arnold from distance. He's gone for it. He's foolishly gone for it. Extra time. He's whittling away as it looks like the inevitable is, is upon us, viewers. I mean, we've got a half until it happens. It's still Mexico 1, England 1. They've already scored a penalty. That's what makes me nervous, viewers. I believe in extra time, actually, you do get another substitute. Is that right? I think it is. Right, I'm, I'm going to make a bold move. Well, who's the best penalty taker? Tammy, Tammy's got 15 penalties. That's pretty good. Marcus Rashford, penalties any good, mate? We've got to think about this now. 17. Raheem Sterling, 7 penalty. Raheem, you've got to come off, mate. Tammy on. Tammy on. Jaden across. Rashford to the left-hand side. Tammy through the middle. Fresh legs, late doors. Come on, boys. Jordan Pickford good at saving penalties? I don't, I don't really know. Let's hope that Marcus is. All right, another half to go, viewers. It's not done just yet. I'm... Oh, it's a chance. We might snatch it in extra time, which would be preferred. Tammy Abraham is cleared away. And Mexico, well, they're going for it. They, they, they've not done yet. Oh, James Madison does brilliantly. Gets back and defends for us. It goes back to Dewhurst here. He finds Joe Gomez. And now England, can they find one final chance? The Sancho on the right-hand side now, proving to be an issue for them. Beats his man. James Sancho, Rashford, Mount. What's happened back there? Oh, or forward there even. Marcus Rashford, ball in again. Mason Mount. It's a, it's a great save from their goalkeeper. It's drama, viewers. Every minute is more drama. Mason Mount delivers a ball in and our World Cup is hanging in the balance. I don't like it at all as that is rubbish. <sighs> We've played well. We've dominated for large periods as they've got a corner now. Not a corner. Of all the things on Football Manager, it's not gone in. Oh my, I'm so on edge. By the way, update. I will not be doing a harmonica jingle for every penalty scored if it gets to that. It might not. James, the Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's lost the ball out in a ridiculous position. What was happening back there? Castro, forward again. As they're, as they're, they're putting so much pressure on us. Win the ball back out. Mason Mount gets in. Sancho. It's, it's end to end in the final moments of this, of this World Cup tie. Marcus Rashford! Marcus Rashford, he's got a... He's... I mean, that's all, that's all that needs to be said. It's it's 2-1 England. Jaden Sancho racing forward, finds Marcus Rashford. You're thinking, where's he going to put it? He finds it straight at the goalkeeper. The arrogance of the man. Oh, it's 2-1. It's oh, and the harmonica went out of control. In extra time, in the final moment, Marcus Rashford for England makes all the difference. And we progress through to the quarter The quarterfinals. We've been here for days. The quarterfinals of the World Cup. We're knackered. It's going to be an issue. A good win, boys. Well done. And we, we progress to the next round where we will face Nigeria, viewers. We are exhausted. We play in four days. Goodness me.
That said, Phil Foden, Ben Chilwell, a few of these boys, they're going to be fit, ready, raring to go. So we might be all right. And Harry Kane's not played in about four matches, so he's fine. But there we are then, gang. That will be tomorrow. Another episode on the Sunday coming up then. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, please do drop a like on it. If you want to see some more, make sure you subscribe. Drama at every end of the pitch and exciting stuff. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I hope you did. I'll see you again tomorrow then for a lot more with love and with care. Until next time, Marcus Rashford. One of them. Come on.